tell by, and it looks like it's dissipated somewhat, can you tell by the color of shafts that fall down from the clouds what it actually is? Because I see some bright white, what looks to be me now, hail shafts. Um, it may be the sun angle, but can you tell by color if it contains hail or if it contains rain? Uh, it, it's a little bit difficult to tell. Sometimes if it's very, very bright uh, white uh, with the sun shining on it, that will be some, uh, some hail. Uh, and uh, but I, I couldn't tell from uh, from uh, from the view there with with yeah, absolute Yeah, it looks certainty. like it could be very difficult. Maybe a little bit down closer to the ground where you see the green grass here. I can see from my vantage point a little bit more white. To me, that looks like it could be a little bit more hail. Although as this passed by us, we didn't feel any hail at all. Everything that we saw once this came by was all rain. So we're now in some much more stable air, we're in some much colder air, uh, windier air. So at this point, now that the storm has passed, we wouldn't expect any more severe weather to come our way. But you have truly witnessed something remarkable here live on the Weather Channel, a complete formation and dissipation of a tornado. Initially started out as a large supercell thunderstorm, a right turner in a Goshen County, Wyoming. As it came towards us, what you ended up seeing were multiple funnels dropping down and then lifting again three separate times until ultimately we had one large wedge tornado on the ground for roughly 25 minutes. Toward the end of the life cycle of that tornado, what we ended up seeing was more of a horizontal tilt to it where the base of the tornado and the top of the tornado were completely removed from each other. It was not completely vertical like we saw with the wedge tornado, and then it dissipated. Again, on the ground for about 25 minutes before lifting, tornado warnings have been issued for multiple counties, including Goshen County, Wyoming, and for Laramie County, Wyoming, the tornado passing significantly east of Cheyenne, so there was no immediate danger for the residents of Cheyenne. Diane, and you can see the area where we are, excuse me, is completely wide open range and farmland, a completely unpopulated area, absolutely perfect sampling for Vortex 2. They've completely deployed on this and some of the most valuable data that may ever be collected on a tornado was done tonight within the last hour with 10 different mobile Doppler radars and ground deployments and mobile deployments. Truly remarkable what has happened this evening. Uh, obviously, this is I'm almost uh, speechless as to what we saw. Our vantage point was absolutely ideal. The storm was at times rain wrapped, but for most of the life of that tornado, we could see it perfectly clear without any obstruction of rain, without any obstruction of hail, as it moved slowly towards us. It was not a fast mover, and again, that's one of the ideal things for Vortex 2. They're looking for wide open space and a slow moving tornado. The slower it moves, the better data sampling they can get, Dr. Forbes, and I've got to say, I'm sure they are ecstatic right now with the data they've collected. Well, Mike, I think it's safe to say the long wait for Vortex 2 is over. Uh, it's a tremendous success today. Yeah, I, I'd have to agree with you on that, Dr. Forbes. This has been uh, truly remarkable, what we've witnessed. And now I, I look around me and I see some sunshine off to the west. It, the wind has dissipated quite a bit. And again, when you look at the open range here, it was off to um, our west here, which is where the tornado formed. It was exactly this location where we watched it push its way um, eastbound. Now, with that tornado, there are a lot of high-tension power lines. Not one single time did we see any flash of electricity. So I'm, I'm estimating at this point, Dr. Forbes, I'm guessing it really didn't even hit anything. We didn't see any large pieces of debris. We didn't see any power flashes. I've got to say a win-win for everybody here. Uh, for at least... We may have... We may have lost. We may have let, lost Mike's audio. So certainly, indeed, a win-win situation. He was, as he was saying, for uh, Vortex 2 as well as for the people, is because we watched the entire life cycle of the tornado. We never saw anything that looked uh, like a terrible debris uh, that this had caused some kind of destruction. No power line flashes in the area that he was in. So it seems to be the tornado did its thing in the best possible location in terms of the public safety as well. 
All right, Dr. Forbes and Mike Bettis giving us live analysis of a tornado on air, caught on tape, intercepted here on the Weather Channel. We are going to have continuing coverage as Mike Bettis continues to hunt. The hunt is not over as we head on into the evening hours. If you have questions, Twitter, Facebook, email us. We have more questions. Dr. Forbes will analyze what we have seen. Again, there's a live picture of Mike Bettis. That is his producer. This is what we saw earlier today, the total life cycle of a tornado. You are looking at the beginnings once a touchdown. That's Dr. Forbes analyzing it a little bit earlier. So what did we see? What did we just experience? Did we learn anything new? We're going to answer all of these questions here. We're going to take a very quick break. We'll be right back. Stick with us. Canopy Egyptian cotton sheets are designed to get softer every time you wash them. And canopy comforters don't have to be dry cleaned which makes your bed easier to sleep in and that much harder to leave. Canopy Home Furnishings, available at Walmart. Save money, live better. Walmart. Whether it's a picket fence or a bedroom wall, a fresh coat of paint can make anything feel new. At Ace, we make painting easier with expert tips and techniques to help you get the results you're looking for. Picking the perfect color, having all the tools and supplies you'll need, we keep it simple. So you can enjoy the satisfaction of making a big difference for a small price. Ace, the helpful place. OnStar presents Extreme Weather Tips. This is the OnStar Command Center. We're monitoring weather conditions and providing that information to our customers in need of crisis assistance. Hurricanes are some of nature's deadliest storms. Here's how you can be prepared. Cover all of your home's windows with plywood. Have an emergency kit ready. That would include a flashlight, raincoat, small radio. If you have a car, keep your gas tank full. Listen to the warnings of your city, state, or county. Make sure your family knows where to meet. Outside of your immediate neighborhood. Make sure you have an emergency route as part of your hurricane evacuation plan. If you're driving and you see downed power lines, you should absolutely avoid them. You could press your OnStar button and report those power lines so that the authorities could come and properly take care of them. The single most important tip that we can provide is to be prepared. This extreme weather tip was brought to you by OnStar. For more information, go to OnStar.com. Are you prepared? Hi, may I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for car insurance that isn't going to break the bank. You're in the right place. Only Progressive gives you the option to name your price. Here. A price gun? Mm-hmm. So I tell you what I want to pay. And we build you a policy to fit your budget. That's cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> feel so empowered. <laughs> Power to the people. <laughs> <laughs> the option to name your price. New and only from Progressive. Call or click today. Vortex 2, the great tornado hunt. And you can come along. Log on to weather.com slash Vortex2 and follow Mike Bettis on the road. Chat with him on Facebook and get updates from Twitter. Vortex2, on the web and on the air. Hurricane season 2009 and the Weather Channel is the hurricane authority. Now, your local on the eight. Currently in our area, 67 degrees under fair skies. Here's our local Doppler radar.
for tonight. Skies clearing overnight. Low 47. Winds south southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And on Saturday, plentiful sunshine. High 73. Winds southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour.